play around with making a flexible mold, making a plaster mold, and we'll determine which one is the best. Oh. Yeah, some of this might be nice to get in the actual canvas, particularly mm -hmm. if I used a, even a heavier gray canvas. But that way, if we make a wax, we can impart an awful lot to the wax. You so we make a in. wax first. And we can do... Because uh, you can comb it and do things like that with it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah, then that would erase the memory of the painting, too. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. like Right, that. right. Well, this is as deep as the one you were looking at before. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, why don't we do this? But it's depth and flat. Yeah. I mean, I can think of all the areas. And it work. also has these paint strokes yeah. in here. Mm -hmm. Which we'll read. Has anybody ever tried this before, Ken? No. It's a notion we have that if you come here first, gather some information, take some of the material back with you to the workshop, it starts to talk back to you, and that's what we want. Yeah. I think this is the one to try. Great. Aha. Uh -huh. One wax. That's incredible. Huh? Right here. That's pretty much what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And you'll get this kind of, <clears throat> that kind of rays. Right. This way, guys. Bring it over here to this. If you want to make something big, the capacity is here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. That's good. Ken likes to do things bigger than anybody else. Oh, these are really deep. Oh, sure. We'll put a hard ground on. And we should then grind out the backgrounds more and get these mm -hmm. to sit in there good and flat so they're located because we can't put them under pressure yet mm -hmm. Yeah. until we get that pretty well resolved as to how they're fitting and how ground. Mm -hmm. We've got to grind and it's flat mm -hmm. more so than it is now. You know, what we could do, Ken, is maybe, why do they all have to be these one and a half, one and a half? Maybe you could have one of them as a big one. So it really, well, is that possible? Yeah, here. You see, it's not going to come out evenly, mm -hmm. but you can make it come out evenly. So much of the initial process and development was basically just to see how it okay. could be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't want to come up here and only make prints. I wanted to see this as a continuation and printmaking as one kind of stoppage, noting what you've done during that period. I, I think the importance of this plate will be how the line and the sculpture works together, uh, which is something that really doesn't even exist to this degree in painting or sculpture because uh, etching has a very kind of special relationship with ink and paper and um, very seldom does it also have a molded paper or a sculptural paper and I want to exploit that I want that to be the major theme looks good When you see some of the printer's eyes light up, you realize that the monotony has been broken. Mm -hmm.